I really liked Dean. They gave us nothing. I hated Jess. I felt really bad for Lane. Jackson just wasn't a good guy a lot of the time. That was just so out of character for Rory. What did the guy do? Give him a break. Why am I getting upset? They were still giving friend vibes. Luke didn't want to marry Lorelai. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Sofa Talk with Sophia Izzy. I've actually been really looking forward to filming this particular episode. I recently had the pleasure of watching Gilmore Girls, very late to the party I know, and then also the Netflix reboot. And I basically just decided as I was going along to jot down lots of points that I had to say about it. And I thought we could unpack that today. I thought I could share with you my potentially unpopular opinions about Gilmore Girls. I have a lot to say. People might not agree, but we're gonna get into it now. So without further ado, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's chat. To keep me going through this little video, I've got some Milky Bar buttons, my favorite things on the planet. To start with, let's set the scene. It's season one. Rory is just leaving Stars Hollow High School to move to Chilton. We briefly see Dean in the first few episodes as a sort of elusive character. And then Rory does end up dating Dean. I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion, but I really liked Dean. Although some things I didn't agree with, for example, how he wanted a very traditional role out of his wife, I feel like he would have happily settled down with Rory and married her quite young, just like he did with Lindsay. But he was a good boyfriend to Rory. Anybody would be lucky for their first boyfriend to be like Dean. He was gentlemanly, he was helpful around the house, he got on with Lorelai. He did make some effort with her family. Obviously sometimes Rory did have to sort of push him to go to like certain events. But I feel like a lot of people are like that. Lots of people aren't really into like dinners and cotillions, do you know what I mean? I do definitely feel like he did a lot for her. I really did like that he came to her cotillion with her. Is that what it's called? Like her coming out party. And I just liked him as a character. He really loved Rory. And what better than to know how loved you are? Do you know what I mean? Why would you necessarily let that go? My first point actually on the list says Rory messing Dean around. I really, really didn't agree with what Rory did here, especially when she kissed Jess at Suki's wedding. I don't understand why throughout every single season of Gilmore Girls and even the reboot, Rory has technically cheated on various partners. She kissed Jess while she was with Dean and then she also kissed Jess again when she was with Logan and then in the reboot, she was also having an affair with Logan. I don't really think that that sort of narrative should have been put with a character like Rory, although I am aware that the writers wanted to sort of portray that even though you can be successful in one area of your life, you know, people aren't always perfect and they have their flaws. I get that. I remember that episode when they were doing that like 24 hour dance challenge and it was so apparent how much Rory liked Jess, but was dancing with Dean. He was looking after her, doing the most for her. And she just did take that for granted. Instead of how she acted towards Dean, she should have just been upfront with him and been like, look, I'm not really sure I'm feeling this anymore. I just have a theory that she just wanted a boyfriend regardless because she only got with Jess once he admitted that he liked her. I think she would have just continued staying with Dean, potentially unhappy until Jess admitted he liked her. If he hadn't have, she would never ever have broken up with Dean unless she was a bit older and then went to Yale. Maybe that would have essentially broken them up entirely if they were still together at that point. I just really don't like how that was handled. He literally made her a car from scratch and that was so underrated. Do you see anybody in this day and age making someone a car and gifting them it? I don't think so. And people were saying online that they started to find Dean quite annoying as the seasons went on. I personally disagree. I never really had an issue with Dean. I was a Dean supporter over Jess. I will get on to Jess later. Okay, everybody has flaws. I really don't like how he treated Lindsay. I just wish that whole situation would have been handled better. When Rory eventually did start seeing Dean again, I was quite shocked actually because it did sort of seem like she completely gone off him and it made me think, well, you know, why? Why did she go back to him and obviously they slept together and it was potentially beneficial for her that he was her first it gives her a good sort of starting point in her mind he has definitely got that small town mindset he didn't really understand rory's future goals like she did need to work hard at chilton to ensure that she was a top student to get into initially harvard and he didn't really get that and he would sort of get angry when she wanted to revise and study and because he didn't have the same goals as her it's quite clear that he didn't really 
relate. And I do think that's why it was important that she did eventually move on from Dean. The final thing I want to say about Dean was I did actually find that fight scene between him and Jess at that house party hilarious. I was wetting myself because it just kept going and going. It was really funny. I don't know why I felt the need to say that, but did anybody else find it funny? It was clearly needed. It was pent up and that's why it was so good. We've discussed Dean now. Let's put him to the side and move on to Jess. Another potentially unpopular opinion coming right at you. I hated Jess. I know a lot of people are like, oh, he was so attractive. No, even in the reboot, don't find him attractive. I genuinely think he was horrible. To Rory, she just put up with the bare minimum with him and she literally downgraded. She went from Dean to Jess, who did nothing. He couldn't communicate. He didn't want to do anything with her except hang out late at night or on their own. He did not put in the necessary effort to be a good boyfriend. Okay, they had reading in common, but so what? That's all they had in common, in my opinion. I don't think they had any chemistry either. I just didn't feel it. I felt like their relationship was quite icky, and that's why I'm glad they never really rekindled that. Yes, he was always in love with her, and she was definitely the one that got away, but too bad. He didn't treat her right, and that's what you get when you don't treat somebody right. He never went to the Stars Hollow events with her. He took his personal anger out on her when she did not deserve that. He tried to force her to do things with him. It's just bad vibes. It's just toxic energy from him. Didn't like him. Never liked him. I'm glad that he mellowed out in the later series, but that was expected because I think that was just teenage hormones and the teenage anger stage. Do you know what I mean? I don't think he was always going to be like that, but he was not right for Rory. I definitely think they should have just stayed friends the whole time, but obviously that wouldn't have made a very good storyline. Moving on now to my third point, which just says Lane's mum, FFS. I really didn't like Lane's mum for a lot of the show. Eventually, I did notice that she started to mellow out and she was a lot more accepting in the end. Credit to her because she clearly had very, very strong mindsets. So let's talk about that. For a long time of the show, she really, really controlled Lane and I really didn't like that. I felt really bad for Lane on so many occasions, how she wasn't allowed outside of the house and how how she'd be like locked in her room, the fact that she had to literally hide her own personal identity away from her mum. That just screams toxic to me. I'm surprised that Lane didn't come out with more issues from that and I think she was robbed of a lot of teenage life and freedom. When Mrs. Kim actually approved of Dave, I was shocked and I actually think that was the sort of pinnacle moment where she became a bit more understanding of Lane. In the first early season, she would never ever have let her be in a band, let alone live with her male bandmates. She eventually just had to accept that Lane was who she was. And I do definitely think that she chilled out a bit. You know, Lane got married young. Mrs. Kim allowed her to have a fun wedding. She really did change. So that character development was approved by myself. And I think many people will agree. And she actually did become quite entertaining. The next thing that I wrote is how long it took for Lorelai and Luke. It was ridiculous. Sorry. That's what I wrote. They're all just really sort of straight to the point notes so that I don't forget. Oh my God, the amount of time it took for Lorelai and Luke to get together was quite frankly boring. As each season would go on, I would think, oh, maybe it will be this season. Four seasons, that is such a long time of nothing. They gave us nothing. And for a long time, it didn't even seem like Lorelai even really found him that attractive or really saw him in a romantic way. They could have introduced that a bit earlier. It really, really did take a long time, which did actually make me lose interest for quite a while because I was like, ugh, like when is it gonna happen? And obviously she would date other people in the meantime. I did like Max Medina, really liked him for a while, but also didn't really think that him and Lorelai really clicked. And the next point I have got in capital letters <laughs> is how much I hated Digger. Oh my god, I hated Digger. That whole storyline of his romance with Lorelai did not go. It didn't work. They were polar opposites. Their first date was so awkward and cringy. Then they went to that restaurant and then Lorelai didn't like it, obviously, because it looked so boring. Then they went to like a supermarket and sat outside. Oh, it doesn't even matter what happened. It was just so boring. I don't even know how that ended up going on for so long. And they dated for like six months plus. He didn't get her humor, I don't think. I saw him as quite boring. I didn't like this whole thing where he was like, I have to sleep in my own bed. Can you sleep in the guest room? Like They were just like friends. It was obviously just a filling storyline to drag out Lorelai and Luke 
even further. This was something that I picked up on which I found quite random and it says they don't outline when Jackson forfeits his title as the town mayor. That was a really weird storyline that just wasn't finished. Jackson obviously ran against Taylor to I think it was to be the town mayor so he could be the organizer of the meetings and things like that because Taylor was irritating everybody. He was the most annoying guy. They just never explained what happened there. It was just a sort of pointless story because they never actually outlined when Jackson gave gave it up when Taylor got his role back. Maybe it would have been interesting to see how smug he was. It was like a non-completed storyline. I'm one of those people who likes to see every storyline through. I hate when it's just a cliffhanger. Moving on now to the later seasons when Logan is introduced. It says, Logan seems to have good intentions, but I don't like him at the start. Then I really do like him. So when he first was introduced to the show, I really just didn't like him because I was still a stan of Dean and Rory. He was a lot more cocky and I just personally didn't think he was that good for Rory initially. The reasons I didn't like him was he didn't really pay much attention to Rory, which, you know, maybe was quite a good thing for her because it made her realize that not everybody is gonna fall at her feet. But eventually I definitely think he had like extreme character development, maybe the most of all the characters. Logan really wasn't interested in being a boyfriend kind of guy at the start. And Rory was trying to go along with that and being like all cool and chill and like, I don't care until eventually it did get to her, which is fair enough. It couldn't be me. I just loved how it was clear he really did like her and he was making romantic gestures. I really did like the scene where she went and did a sort of article about the life and death brigade and he'd left a dress in her tent. I just found that really cute and it was a really pretty dress as well. He has good taste and you could see that he was mellowing out quite quickly It was a very quick transition He really did like her and wanted her to step out of her comfort zone and even when Rory stole a yacht It wasn't really even his idea. So it doesn't really make him that unlikable Like I don't think it was really that much to do with him about the whole yacht thing I've seen many people agree with me on the internet That was just so out of character for Rory and too dramatic I think the fact that she literally got a criminal record and could contest it after like five years or something. It was just ridiculous. I know it was to sort of symbolize that sometimes people do just have breakdowns, but why can't you just steal some groceries from a shop? Why do you have to steal a whole yacht? It was quite extreme. Very random as well. Just not the vibe. I didn't like how they had to make her into like a literal criminal. Like, could she not have, you know, just been like lounging around in bed, not wanting to get up out of bed? Something more relatable and smaller like that would have probably suited her a bit better. I do actually think briefly dropping out of Yale was part of her character development and I do think it was necessary for her because she needed to work things through. If you only ever put education at the forefront of your mind, you don't even factor your self-care into that equation, you're gonna have a breakdown. And when someone, aka Logan's dad, practically tells you that everything you've been working for your whole life is for nothing, you would have a breakdown. And I understand why she wanted to drop out of Yale because she probably thought, what's the point? If I'm not good at what I want to do, what is the point and I think she needed that rest and I am so glad she went back. Yes, Jess helped her see that she needed to go back, but I don't think he really, really was the sole reason. I'm not giving him credit. Don't like him. I just wrote down in capital letters, Luke's season six hair was iconic. I think he had like long sort of curtainy hair. He really suited it. Wish he'd kept it longer. I now have written, which could be quite controversial. I don't think Richard was an issue at all, only Emily. We all know Lorelai has a very complicated relationship with her parents. However, I want to take that further and actually say she only has a complicated relationship with her mother. What did Richard really do that was that bad? A lot of the time, most of his antics were driven by Emily. I think sometimes it is just easy to say, oh, I have a bad relationship with my parents and not pinpoint which one you actually have got a bad relationship with. What did the guy do? Give him a break. I think he was just a standard dad. Yes, okay, he did the odd thing. I don't like that he was sneaky about organizing an interview at Yale for Rory without her knowing, but he had good intentions. I really liked Richard Gilmore. He just went to work, had his dinner, played golf, went to the club, smoked a cigar, that's it. He helped Lorelai with the insurance at her inn. He was always so kind and loving to Rory. He had that connection with her. It developed very quickly. He was a lovely granddad. I can't even think about it for too long because I sobbed three times in the reboot. I was 
crying my eyes out because obviously the actor who played Richard did pass away. The tributes to him were just so sad that it's even making me tear up now. He was just so sweet on the show. I don't want to think about it. Oh my god, why am I getting upset? It was very beautiful how they sort of remembered him and I didn't even know him. My partner was asking me like, oh, why are you crying? It's just a show. And I said to him like, we've watched seven seasons with Richard Gilmore in it. And for him to not be there, it was just really sad. You know, Emily was all alone. I just think that the issue was between Lorelai and Emily. Their relationship was difficult. I did find Emily quite annoying at times. She was very dictative and controlling. Everybody had to do what she said. I could see that she had good intentions, but I think she needed to back down a lot of the time. She was quite a stubborn character. And like I said, I didn't really like her for a long time, but I also think she had character development. I think a lot of the characters that were unlikable at the start did tend to mellow out. Moving on now to where it says in my notes, Luke being a father was so weird. It was really out of character for him at the start because he was such an anti-child kind of guy. I think that also helped his character development as well though, becoming a dad. I think it gave him more tenderness and more thoughtfulness. How can you not like Luke? Yes, he was quite angry a lot of the time, but he was just so thoughtful and caring. I didn't really like the whole him being a father thing at the start, then I kind of got used to it. And I think it was beneficial in the long run. So now we are at the stage where Luke and Lorelai are dating. And I just sort of initially had this to say. I wrote, Luke and Lorelai literally never say I love you. It's weird. Sadly, it feels like they have no passion because we don't actually see it. It's almost assumed. I did find this weird. Even when she married Christopher, in the short time they were together, they told each other, much more often that they loved each other. You never ever barely got to hear Luke and Lorelai say they loved each other, which kind of still made me feel like they were just friends. Like, I didn't really feel like they had much romantic chemistry a lot of the time. Don't get me wrong, I was their biggest fan, but I wanted to see more chemistry. I wanted to see that transition from friends to partners. I just really feel like they didn't have much romance. Like, you know, when they went to one of Logan's beach houses and he hadn't even got her a Valentine's Day gift, like they were still giving friends vibes and maybe that was just how they liked it don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with that next short little point i loved rory's bangs she looked stunning it really made her look mature and it suited her face so much brought out the blue eyes in my opinion this might be unpopular as well i don't have an issue with lane and zach he can't be penalized for making one mistake with the band i really did want her to end up with dave however i didn't really have an issue with zach yes he was quite childish at the best of times but he stepped up when he found out they were having kids he became more mature he looked after lane he was there for her of course that time when he messed up with the band because he was jealous of one of the other band members. I can't remember his name now, Brian. You know, it's normal to be jealous in life. And yes, he shouldn't have done it like that, but he can't be penalized forever because of it. I think he turned out to be a good dad. He wanted to marry her. He was loyal, faithful. He dealt with Mrs. Kim. I didn't really have a problem with him and lots of people did. He wasn't perfect, but who is? What have I written next? I think it's sweet that they played their band at their own wedding. I loved that. I think their wedding was very nice. I think it was done well. What next? Luke didn't want to marry Lorelai. I'm sorry, but he didn't. And he was a better friend to her than boyfriend at the best of times. He didn't want to marry her. And I think he could have just communicated that. I think his communication was the downfall of them initially. It was really sad to see. And I wasn't so upset when she was with Christopher because that was a very long will they, won't they? And it was good that they did. Even if it was just for a short space of time, it was nice to see them finally together to know that they weren't meant for each other. Lorelai was right. Sometimes just the idea of somebody is enough. Luke and Lorelai needed to break up to come back together better than ever and for Luke to realize that he was literally putting every single ounce of his energy into April when you don't have to compartmentalize everything. I didn't like April's mum and the fact that she wouldn't let Lorelai see April. It was all just really complicated and weird and I'm really really happy that Luke won his court battle against her because he literally deserved to see her and I found it really strange when they introduced April and then it was like oh no see ya she's moving to, was it New Mexico? Just really strange and abrupt. It's like, here she is, now she's gone. Lorelai's character reference was just so sweet. I actually think the time it took for them to become friends again was done well. It wasn't rushed and it wasn't too long. Luke was also very understanding and forgiving of the fact that Lorelai immediately went to Christopher. It literally kills any potential that she could have had at that time with Luke. It was done. I also wrote this on that point. Lorelai did realistically have more of a romantic chemistry with Christopher than she did with Luke. We've discussed this and yes, she did. However, she had a much more long-lasting 
lasting friendship and connection with Luke. Moving on to the fact that I actually felt really, really bad for Suki when she found out she was having her third child because she clearly didn't want another one. Also, I don't understand why the option of abortion was a completely ignored topic. She didn't necessarily have to have the child. I'm not sure if it's because of how long ago it was filmed, but I did honestly just feel so bad for her. The fact that Jackson had been that disgusting to lie to her. I've seen a lot of people online saying that Jackson just wasn't a good guy a lot of the time. He was whiny and annoying, but I didn't hate him that much, except once that whole vasectomy thing came out, I really started to dislike him because I was like, how could you do that? That is a big, big lie. Next thing I want to say was the fact that Lane having her twins was so underwhelming. It wasn't even shown once they were born. It was so like put to the back of everyone's minds. It was like, oh, Lane's had her twins. Anyway, there wasn't even like pictures of her holding her twins after she'd given birth. It gave nothing. I wanted to see Zach holding his newborn sons. I wanted to see them naming them. It was so underwhelming. The next thing I want to talk about, which I loved, was when Richard and Emily made up a song and they sang it at Rory's graduation party. It was so wholesome. They were just so cute and cozy then. That was when Logan proposed. Now, I am a Rory and Logan stan, so I did write down that she should have said yes, but obviously she was young. However, I just really, really could have seen them together, like power couple vibes. I really didn't like how they were portrayed in the reboot. It just wasn't matching my perceptions of what I wanted them to be. And I was upset when they broke up. It really wasn't what I wanted. I know it was to sort of show that she was moving into a new chapter of her life, but it wasn't what we wanted. I really thought the ending of the original show in season seven was really good. I really, really liked the fact that they all hosted a party to say goodbye to Rory and how thoughtful Luke was. Making that big thing to cover them all from the rain was just so thoughtful. I'm so happy that Luke and Lorelai got back together and kissed. It just made the show complete. It gave a solid ending, which is what we needed after seven seasons of Will They Won't They. One of the final things I will say about the original show was the whole like thing of whether he cheated or not. Lots of people online were saying they generally don't think he cheated because people were just saying he just had no idea and thought that they had broken up. We do just have to assume that he didn't know they were together. However, if your coping mechanism is to go and sleep around, do better. After that, they went from strength to strength. He really, really made it up to her, showed his worth, and I just really could have seen them being together. That does sort of complete my review of the main show. And now I think we should talk about the reboot year in the life show because there is a lot more to unpack about that. The first thing that I have written down is I just want Rory and Logan to be together. I don't like the affair vibes. It's so out of character. I just think it's cruel to Odette and I just don't like affairs. I just really don't like how for seven seasons we were meant to see this sort of build up to Rory's success. You know, she went to Chilton and Yale. You would think from all of that and all of the hard work that she put in, that in her future, she would be really successful and a really, really popular, well-known journalist. To see her failing and just sort of flopping and working at the Stars Hollow Gazette was extremely underwhelming and definitely something I know that viewers really wouldn't have wanted. I know the whole point was the fact that like she was meant to follow in her mum's footsteps and have a baby. However, I do think I would have liked to see more meaning towards the fact that she put so much work into her education. We should have seen some sort of rewards being reaped from that. Do you know what I mean? I was so upset that Suki wasn't really in it and I didn't really like the way that the inn was going regarding Michelle leaving and obviously Suki had left. It was really sad and also didn't really make it feel as special that she wasn't in it because Suki was a very, very prominent character. And when she was in it for the five minutes that she was, it could have even been nicer for her to be like, oh, I'm coming back to the inn. So that we had some sense of like continuous friendship. Do you know what I mean? Like we just were sort of left with Suki's gone, Michelle is going. It could have just been a bit more positive. I didn't like the whole sort of chaos vibe. Chefs coming in and out. Let me know what you guys think about that too. Also, I wrote how sweet it is that Lane's band was still together after all those years and Gil did not age. Gil looked so youthful. And some other characters that I noticed didn't age was Babette and Christopher. They looked the exact same. I didn't like Lorelai and Emily's therapist. I thought she was stupid. She just sat there staring at them and therapists are meant to like prompt conversation. Like what was she trying to do with that? It was really weird and pointless. Why couldn't the therapist have been like, so Lorelai, what do you think about this? Or Emily, how do you feel? Like she just sat there and was like, okay, we're out of time now. It gave us 
nothing the musical oh my god the musical was painfully awful i had to skip it i was cringed out it was icky and it took up so much time and another important point that i found really annoying was the life and death brigade scene i found that weird just didn't like it a lot of things in the reboot sort of gave nothing i would have liked rory and logan's goodbye to be a bit more meaningful it was just a bit underwhelming he was like oh are you coming for breakfast and she was like no and he was like okay by and gave her a kiss are they over will there be a second season and will they get back together it was sweet to hear that rory was pregnant i think she would be a great mum, but i just think it wasn't really her time it was so great to see paris back in the picture there were definitely a lot of beneficial points to the reboot seeing all the characters back together the fact that the town hadn't changed but it was interesting to see them in newer times like with iphones and wi-fi but nobody had actually changed at heart so that was really nice to see i just think they could have given us more it just wasn't enough we can just kind of hope that one day there'll be another reboot i'm not holding out hope maybe they just want to leave it where it is now kind of on a cliffhanger we can kind of make of it what we want that rory is pregnant and we can kind of hope that it's logan's so that is a wrap on my opinions of the gilmore girl shows let me know in the comments what you thought let me know if you agree with me and what could have been done better don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video